Blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is February 24, 2024, and today is Saturday within the first week of Lent. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. The Gospel says, Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. You know, when we speak about perfection in the context of today's gospel, perfection is not about being sinless. It's not about having supreme excellence. It's not about possessing good qualities. But our gospel is teaching us that loving an enemy is the perfect definition of perfection. Loving an enemy is the path to perfection. But the friends, Nothing is exceptional if we friend only our friends. You know, what, what good is that? It is not extraordinary to smile and to shake the hands of our friend. Because everybody can do that. There is no reward in loving a friend. When you choose to love a friend, it means our love is selective. We need to go beyond it. And that's what's the, the message or the challenge of today's gospel. A child of God is a friend of all. Love everyone, not just those who loves us back. And like Jesus, may we have the ability to rise above the, the daily challenges of irritations, the, the challenges of disagreements, resentments, hostility, arguments, and hate. And the gospel is telling us today that there are two powerful tools on how to deal an enemy. An enemy means someone hostile to you, allergic to you, who is very unfriendly towards you. How to deal with this kind of people? The gospel is suggesting us, first, we need to love our enemies. When to say, when I, I'm saying love, meaning to say, we need to, to do the opposite of what they're doing. You know, we need to welcome them. We need to bless them. We need to love them because love is the greatest conqueror. Love is the antidote of hate. Love will make all things beautiful. Love is the other name of God. And the second antidote towards people who are unfriendly toward us, we call them enemies, you know, is prayer. Prayer can transform an enemy. Prayer is the weakness of our enemy. But the friends, today we are called to, to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. Again, we, if we would like to be perfect, loving an enemy is the perfect definition of perfection. As what our responsorial psalm is telling us today, happy are those who follow the law of the Lord. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your families, so that many will be blessed. Amen.